Hello everyone, I'm Me Phone 4 and I'm Son of Beast and this is NBA 2K23 on 2K Sports. What is up everyone? It's Fan from Son of Beast and welcome back to another NBA game here of 2K Sports. This next matchup is about to be happening here in the Eastern and Western Conference Collision. This time, the Milwaukee Bucks are away and they're playing at Sacramento in California to play against the Kings. Now, we've seen that the Sacramento Kings have already won a couple of games since we haven't seen a winning game so far by in between for the seasons. We've seen it that the last season was turning out to be a terrific opportunity range to have it all on the point. So as you may have already have heard, this may have to be the only part of the game that was ever usually happening. And with that one, there are lots of stuff here that was happening in between by the range. And that's why, because the last game was recently held out, that they have just couldn't make a win against the Golden State Warriors. The only last game they beat was the Trailblazers in Season 5. So that is the only thing that we talked about it before. And sell you that one, everything is turning out to be oh, hey, okay. And I, yeah. But definitely to tell you about that one here, there is a lot thing to share about. Now, let's go over to the starting lineups before we get into the commentaries to get in the game. We have the box here, it's Drew Holiday, it's Grayson Allen, Chris Middleton, Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek Freak. That's why I also like to call that one. And Brooke Lopez. On the other side here in the Sacramento Kings section, we have us here with Aaron Fox, Kevin Hunter, Harrison Barnes, then it's Keegan Murray, and the center man of Domantas Sabonis. Last played with the Indiana Pacers, but now he is about to help them out with De'Aaron Fox. Without Buddy Heal and Marvin Bagley III, you'll see how well he could try to keep things up with. So it's time to send you down to Golden One Century, where Son of Beast and Life Ring are standing by. I'll be back here for the halftime show, right for this game. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy! 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Greetings folks, and we are at Sacramento, as this game is about to be happening in the Eastern and Western Conference matchup. Hello everyone, Son of Beast here, along with Life Brain. This is NBA 2K Sports, and along right here we have it's Allie the Force on the sideline. Here's Allie. Well, Drew Holiday with two brothers in the league, and his wife's a three-time world champion midfielder with the U.S. women's soccer team, said, quote, she's literally the athlete and the winner in our family. And Brian, she'll sometimes critique his games, but he said, quote, that means a lot to me. It's real, and she backs it up. Good man. Good thing Thanks. about him, Drew. Thanks to you, Ali. Look at and here are the starting lineups as we have the key matchups in between of uh, Drew Holiday and De'Aaron Fox. I have to say about this one, De'Aaron Fox is really like the, the biggest man I have always ever seen how this one plays before. And go with Giannis on a Kumpo? I mean, he's tough. I don't know who you can stop on this guy, but this is a very tough one to go. Interesting on the backstory for him. He's really into a good one. Balls tip, and we are all set to go. The Kings and the Bucks. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's Allen coming up by Herder. And it's Middleton covering up here by Barnes. De'Aaron Fox on Holiday. Domantas Sabonis on Lopez. And Giannis on Akumbo on, on the other player that goes for one of the tougher games that he has. And then, it may be a, a very tough one, and it's Murray. Murray, I have to say, I'll tell you about this one. This is really the hardest one you can always ever get. Sometimes in really, in, in dunking it in real life, they have a lot of a scrimmage of the ability of this uh, uh, accusable to try to keep them up on the board. They need something else to try to get this thing a, a working credit run, because if you don't have it right, then you're not going to succeed it. Wow, Fox with the one hand dunk is as it's showtime. Let's get the game started. And he did. Oh, De'Aaron Fox, look at him go. Here's Middleton coming up by Barnes in the corner. He looks over to Giannis. Over Murray. 
two-pointer can't hit. Sabonis takes his first rebound. Entering the leads in the NBA, and this one is 12.3. Oh, it almost went and made it, but it's still a King's ball. Wow, very tough one on that one. That's a great steal, but it still keeps it alive out there. Here's Fox, covered up by, by Drew Holiday. He lifts it over to Barnes. Now swings to Murray. Shot clock to five. Over Giannis, and he's fine. That goes with the first foul on Giannis on a Kumpo. First personal, first team foul in Milwaukee. First free throw coming up for Keegan Murray for Sacramento. You had to pay a play in this one that was going to give it off to a one worthy shot this game. You know the same was always talking about it, the play for makes? They've really got a hard one to try to knock it down and try to go right from in between. I have to say about this one, this has to go with a, a tough look at the angle on the score. That's what he really wanted to do for Sacramento. And they might be looking for a way to make the playoffs after the regular season. It has been so long since we haven't seen the Sacramento Kings made it that far to make most of the winning careers because most of the teams definitely got to head off the deck. It's quite now to make a, a different range you can score. I mean, to talk about that one, they're really off to a great uh, opportunity to give this thing a good look about credit cards. I'm hoping they should be uh, keeping it in as close as they can get. Second free throw for Murray is good. He has one free throw made, and it's now one point. Holiday, kick over to Milton. He kicks back to Holiday. Over to Bonus. In and out. That goes right to Fox with the rebound. That's his first rebound of the night. Murray is across from the center. Lifts it over to Hart Herder. After with the Saturday loss coming up here against Minnesota, he only had 29 points, 3 assists, and 6 rebounds. The game was not that tough for him for a game. He, he was very that well, but trying to take him off the appeal. Their run was just nothing, but they wanted to do to try to go for the Aaron Fox, because that is the playmaking that they got to do. Always got to stick in the right mood, you want to go by him. After the block rejection by Brooke Lopez, here's Giannis Anacubo. Over Murray. Tough D, and he made a good rebound for Savannah Bonez. That's the second rebound of the night. Fox with it now. He kicks over to Herder. Sabonis asks for a screen. With this play in, feed off. The shot went in, and Herder's got his first bucket. And that was playing out big. Tough one, Bates. It's a tough one when you know it. A mobile one drive for Turter, and that was the best highlight moment for the Kings. Here's Allen outside, back to Holiday. Looks back to Lopez. Lopez moving inside. Over the round, and I can't make the two-pointer to go in. Fox goes over to Murray. Looks over to Mars. One hand dunk, and it's Murray with the assist. Oh yeah, good one on the cover. That's really like a better play than they got to go for it. Middleton coming up by Barnes. Looks over to Alan Kumpo, back to Allen. Allen finds Lopez. Over to Bonas. First layup drive for Lopez is good. The timeout has been called out by Sacramento. They got 236 left to go. It's a 7 4 lead in Sacramento. Now, now I know that you, they were really on to a tougher scores than they needed. But this was all it does turn out. Sacramento Kings, I definitely never seen them play like for many years. The most coming in the uh, part of this game, there was a tough one that they were calling for. How best did they play? Well, I will just say that this would have been just very tough one to be honest by them. And just because of what they have done, just doesn't mean that they really love they love the Kings. There's so many of the fans that they really wanted to keep it here for us struggling on the board. But not to go with the figure of it. Either they're in the third seat right now, it looks like they're they could be going for here and it could be a possible win. And they are gonna try to lift it up from its heavy on duty with the traffic jam. I'm hoping this one should be okay. But I'm not sure how this will happen. Because of this one for Sacramento Kings, 
The third seed could be a great choice. It might be tough for the child. Lift it from the ground. That's might be a tougher one than you think. The new changes are coming up here for the Bucks and the Kings as a couple players are checked in and out. Holiday, Alan Milton, Alan Kupo are checked out. All three players, Milton moves in point four. Overhand now is all five players are checked out. All five players checked in. Holmes, Lowe's, Davis, Monk, and Mitchell. Here's Monk. Monk lifts it over to Holmes. Over Lopez. He can't hit that target that time. It's Javon Carter with the first rebound. Middleton. Over Monk. That's a good shot from here. Like he gets his first bucket. And that was Javon Carter with the assist. With only two minutes to play in the first period. It's a 7 game 6 game. Here Tuck puts down. Look for Cobbling. Mitchell. Fire for three. Ah, it's a win. That goes over to Middleton. Hilton over Connington. Looks to Carter. Covered up by Davis. Looks over to Middleton. Over Mitchell. That tough pointer is good. Now they got the first pointer in the lead for tonight. Oh, that tough one's always inbounding. I gotta watch out for that one. Monk! Oh, watch out! The revenge faces up. Molly Monk just saw that come and fly by. It is, honestly. You gotta believe this kid. Javon Carter dishes over to Pat Connaughton. In the middle is Middleton. Over again. That didn't hit that time. That's Lyles with the first rebound. Now kicks to Mitchell. Just a minute of the play in the first period, a 9-8 score. Looks over to Davis. Mitchell, step back for three. First rebound, Holmes went up. Now it's lost to try to regroup. And a three second is called. That goes to Davis. It turns over to Milwaukee Ball. A tremendous play for Brooke Lopez with the rejection. That really has to send things out. I tell Brooke Lopez, you can feel like that. He says, go over with the ball, try to smack it out of the hand. And that was what you really wanted to do? He is like lifting his legend like he never knows it before. Here's Siobhan Carter, 43 seconds left to play in the first period. Now it finds Pell Ingles outside. Ingles for three. First three pointer can't hit the mark. Apala in the wing. Apala over the back to Monk. Swings to Davis for three. Three pointer can't hit the mark. Middleton to the Connaughton. Looking for a spin move. Middleton inside over Monk. Yeah, a two pointer kick to the end. That's his first lead here in the first period. They really need to see how this can go. Davis. Three pointer for Monk. And a rebound. That won't be enough. And that ends the first quarter of the game. 10 5, 10 to 9 run. Well, a little bit of heavy in between. We'll kick off with the second period when we come back. As we get started here for the second quarter, it's a 10 9 game. We talked about one of the uh, better players that we all call for. The name goes with the sixth man, and also with Richmond, Chris Weber. The only guy who really loves to feel like he never knows it before. And yeah, I wouldn't be saying that Chris Weber is definitely awesome, but how about the the only part of a uh, player that we all call for, Shaq O'Neal? He was going to definitely play with that one. That might have been just a good thing to keep it going for him in between. I mean, to talk about that one, they, they just really want the celebrities to get over it. I love that Dementis of Bonus was really picking up out of it. Nice work. Brooke Lopez takes a foul as one shot comes in for Dementis of Bonus. So Bonus delivers the free throw and they're up by two. That's what you really want to get. Here's Holiday, covered up by Fox, goes right to Norora. Alcala on the cover, kicks to Greek free, up to Matthews. 
Herder on the D. Defending the ball. Looking holiday. Two pointer missed for free throw chance. Fox has it now here as he kicks off with three rebounds. Fox looking over it. He finds the bonus. Back to Fox. With the cut in, it's taken away by Wesley Matthews. He has his first steal of the game, first turnover on Sacramento. And that's what you want to do. You want to try to be careful with that one. You don't want to like take it over with anybody. He kicks to Lopez. Back to Matthews. Trying to deflect it. Matthews for three. Drew Holiday on it. Now here's Barnes. And here's Apala. Looking for three. The Fox. No good on a three pointer. That's missed out again. Anakupo still reaching his height. Three for Matthews. And we got an answer call for Milwaukee. They're up by one. Be careful on that one because you don't want to like take it over risking to this part of the shot. That may be too hard to keep it out of range. Apala with the ball on Nuora. Now back to Barnes. Barnes kicks back to Herder. Looks over to Fox for the shoot. Stepping in with the two. That's missed target again on the Kupo with the rebound. Holiday. Scrimmaging around the floor. Now he kicks out the Anakupo for three. Takes it back. And a put back in there for Lopez. That's another bucket for Lopez to kick it in. That tremendous one is really like turning things out. That really is a turn out. Like he was going back in it. A mobile one drive for the Bucks. They're up by three. The Mo bonus covered up by Brooke Lopez. Back over to Fox. Further outside. Here's a free. A follow up. Doesn't able to make it that time. Free players are just not working enough right now. They they gotta find something else. Oh, on the Kupo. He's like already in the heavy making. Now back to Herder. Kicks it over to Fox. To Sabonis. Over Lopez. Layup drive is good for Sabonis. That gets five points. And the Aaron Fox with the assist. I saw that one. His play was turning out great. Holiday back to Fox with only under three minutes to go. And on the Kupo. Two pointer can't go. Herder with the ball. Kicks back over to Barnes. Moves back to Fox. New changes on the play. Receives a bounce pass to Apala. Five on the shot clock. Looks to Sabonis with a two. And that will be off the target. That will be Lopez's second personal. Second team. Second team. Second team. For Milwaukee. Shooting. And now for the shooting for another free throw percentage here. Will be some added bonus for the Sacramento Kings to take it over with again to increase the more free throw percentage. They talk about plays, they are just really unpredictable to keep this thing a worthy on a credit run. But talk about some bonus. This really has to get things off and good run. First shot made in. And a new substitution coming in for the box as all five players are checked out. On a Kumpo moves over to center. And Middleton in a point forward. Over hand right now is four players checked out, four players checked in. As now, it comes back down to that. Sabonis so kicks two free throws. It's there down by one. Here's Middleton. Only scored a couple of points here. And now he decided to call a timeout with only 2.22 to go. Their play is just, just a lot of hard things to wrestle with. They're not going to have to make it come back to make that one a play maybe works. The action really has to go for out a play and look. But not to really expect of what is going on. Because at this point, you know what the Kings have already just lost a lot of games. They've never won anything, but only one 
for the last uh, two seasons to win against the Trailblazers. They're not really particular that they really want to go for. And not to tell what they want to get, they got a hard one to hit. It's just really a tremendous part of a game. They're not really just like going to battle and play picks on a screen. I mean, you wanted to get over it. I mean, you come out man. you got to, you know, like step it up a little more. Trying to get over it, trying to get around it. I mean, you got to like try to focus it on that thing. Because it's never, it's never going to hit you back as soon as possible. You're going to need to get that one as a better try. Now new players are making new changes on offense and defense. Right now, that Davis still is on the strength, holding it tight. Finds Giannis Adekupo. Middleton on Murray. Now it goes over to Ingles. Moving ball back and forth as George Gill is on that court. Adekupo with the screen. With a spin move. Oh, what a play by Hill! Makes the pass to the Adekupo, and that's a first assist for George Hill. I see this. George Hill made a good connection look over the range. They've seen it like it was never happened. Davis. Murray. Short off the three point range. We're under two minutes to play in his first half of the game. It's a 19 16 score. Eagles on Mitchell. Looks over to Arnakubo. Looks around it and almost would have rejected. But the foul was called on Murray. That's his first personal, their first team foul for Sacramento. And yeah, look at that play. That would have been just like that. But what the problem is, they can't leave it like that. That was left too soon. Free throw coming up here for Ana Nakumbo as they have the first free throw for the night for Milwaukee with just under 90 seconds to go. First free throw went off. The tough targets about that peeling, the more better than they have to take the performance. Coach Mike Budenholzer is the head coach here for the Milwaukee Bucks. He still has never seen anybody play like that. With the better plays in this game, they've got it all down and control. Second free throw doesn't deliver for Arna Kupo. Now here's Monk over to Sabonis. Looks back to Monk. Look in the middle. Murray for two. Fadeaway shot. Good. That's Monk with the assist. And Murray with three points. That's a deliberation to succeed it through. What a play. Blocked the pass by Monk, but it holds on for Pat Connaughton. Now he finds Ingles. Angles on Davis. The screen rejected. Layup scoops it in for Angles. He's got his first bucket. The biggest game changes was just a lot of that one for six. And just a tie here for only once. But there's lots of plenty in this action that gotta get over it. Mitchell holding the man on the offense. Davis plays a look. Ronnie Sabonis over on a Kubo, rejected by Great Free. That's a first block, and us two blocks in again. Oh, the alley That is a tremendous play for a lookout in Bolo. Oh, man, I don't know what Sacramento. <laughs> Those guys and the fans just don't really care. Mark rejected Mitchell for three. They've got the pointer, but it's still a two-pointer. Here's Arna Kupo, looking over, trying to make a move in the middle to two. That's missed out. And Monk going for a win to tie it. Ooh, just want to have that one for Davis, but that is the end of the first half. A 23-20 score 
We'll be right back with the second half coming up. Let's take you over to Allie. Today, Thank you, Ellie. Please stand by for the Halftime Show. Greetings, folks. Welcome to the Halftime Show of NBA 2K Sports. Now it's time to check out the first half with a recap for the Bucks and Kings. Let's see how they did in this part of the game. A tremendous play. Look at that move here. By between us, the bank is a bonus and or a couple players in the Bucks. Ida Kumpa really got a good piece of that one. And a block also on Brooke Lopez. He really had it all for a good start. A lot of plays in this angle are really turning out to be one. And for the Bucks, they could have just got another one. We know we've seen them lost the game in season number five. And they lost against the Timberwolves in the first game. But hopefully the Bucks can try to keep it going with a good strength. The Kings never got a win but a two ones. We'll hope to see if there is a choice. And that's gonna do it. Anyway, time to head you back down to Golden One Century to start the second half. Guys, all yours. See you all later. Welcome back to the Golden One Century as we are about to kick it off with a fur quarter. This game was turning out that Tomantus Abonis has really got some great skills out there in the center. He definitely lived it all with 7 points, 5 rebounds, and assists. Glad he could definitely try to play with the Kings all night long. I agree. Miss Motu and Lee just has to say that most players are really having some hard times. I mean, talking about that one, they need something else to give up quick. But I like it when they need the recruiting players to get back into action. We played the first half, now it's time to play the second half. Glad you could join us here, here at the Golden One Century of the Court. Let's see how well they do. Allen, good face off for Lopez as Allen takes the assist. And Brooke Lopez gets another drive. Another great plate action of Mobile One Drive. With 5.30 left, here's Fox. Finds over Murray. He kicks back to his opponents. Murray for three. Try to hit that one here, but it's still cold. No three pointers out there. I mean, what's the use? Lopez kicked the three. He tried it, but he didn't make that one in. I don't know what's the point with this one, but this doesn't happen like that. Sabonis so hits the two pointer off. Allen kicked back the airway. Finding a man opener. Herder trying to swing it. And a block by Sabonis. That's a first block on the Kings. That's a better move. Oh, on a combo. It says, not this time. Oh, two in a row. It says, give me that. You don't chase face it here wherever you want because you don't mess with the Greek free power. Successful. Oh boy, a little tremendous action plays in the third quarter. I gotta agree with you, they are turning it and out. Barnes with a look. Nice D here by Giannis and Akubo. Middleton, open look for Allen. Allen can't make the three. And they're off to the target on the other hand, starting a little looser on the third quarter for the three pointers, but it's not over yet. They're still on a good strength to keep it going. After De'Aaron Fox with the assist, here's Milton. Moving in, almost would have loose the ball. Middleton makes the layup and a ta quick timeout call by Sacramento. And an easy assist by Anacumbo. They are really like into the half market. They might be pressuring down. They're going to find somebody else here on offense. That's right keep their eyes on the stride because you don't want to try to mess that one up to keep it over with and try to lift it out. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by 
State Farm. Like other neighbors, State Farm is there. Call a quick, call a quick free quote today at 1-800-STATE-FARM. Your local Kia dealers. This is your local Kia today. And by Mountain Dew. Do the do. The new changes are coming in here for the Kings and for the Bucks. Uh, so right now, a couple players for free are out. Three players are checked in. Carter, Holiday moves over to shooting, shooting guard, and Holika in. On the other hand, right now, we have his homes and locks. And a foul has been called by Drew Holiday. So first team foul on the Milwaukee. And the first personal on Holiday. That's a good look. Thanks to Fox. And I say that Herder, what a good look. He's in it. Welcome to the game. Herder's at the line right now, shooting one as for himself. Sacramento Kings are adding the pressure here for the free throws here for tonight. And Herder delivers it. Bucks lead by three. Herder just trying to watch the man on it. New champ kicks off to Anacupo. Back to Holiday. Back to Lee Trip. Going for three. And it's calls for a loose ball on Brook Lopez. His third personal. For a first team foul. We got a good action here for Giannis on the block shot. I gotta tell you that one. Because he's really that tall, he can really try to block it over. I'm just saying, because this guy was the liberation to succeed, he's really like all in on the Holmes around Lopez. Good D effort here on Brooke Lopez. And on a Copa, wow! He's flying fast. He says, I'm out of here. I'm flying over into the river. Ooh, the Kings weren't ready to this one. Carter for three. Can't make the three-pointers as they don't have enough range. Coach tries to reset the group. Goes back to Lyles. Lyles back to Holmes. Kicks over to Snare uh, Hurt. Herder on Anacubo, double man. Lyles for three. And Sacramento can't find the three pointers to hit the advancement. Looking open shots, I mean, they're, they're really off to a terrible and hiding start. They're not really well succeeding in. Holmes, here we go. Adam makes a draw. Holmes gets his first bucket. They're cutting down by two. Only two minutes to play in the third quarter. Carter over to Holiday. Stepping up, finding Carter for three. Rebound by Anacupo. Put back in by Anacupo. They cut it up here and they're trying to get the extension run here by four. They're not really like trying to like successful at that point. They're really like one of them. Like nobody else cares. Fox back over again to Barnes. Over to Herder. Herder trying to look it over. Four to shoot. Herder, thinking about the three. And they got it! They're on the three-point line for Herder. And they're down by one. That's a lane move. Great place for Herder because other players can't make the three-pointers. That's a hard question. Holiday with the two makes it in. The timeout has been called by Sacramento with a minute and seven to go in the third quarter. Talking about the plays back and forth, they're all in good hands. So with that one, we are taking a break here for this part of the game. As we know, the All-Star is happening now. Just a couple of these uh, fantastic players that are able to be playing here for tonight, here at Utah, in Salt Lake City.
with a couple players here in between by the range. They got a heavy hit on the deck. I have to say, but because of this one really has to turn things out. None of the Sacramento Kings have really got a play of this of this part. But one of them will be playing in one of the challenges. I'm hoping there should be one of them that can get over it. Like Samantha Sabonis and uh Gigan Carter. Or probably it could be a uh, Allen for sure. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna be that. But in this case, maybe uh maybe someone's gonna be out there for no other choice. So give that one a good luck. Do here for the NBA part of the game. Now back on the court, we got new changes for the four players on offense. Lee Champ has moved over to point four as Pat Connaughton checked in, and five players are checked in and out as right now Mitchell is checked in. Monk outside, back to Apollo. Make a move in front, two pointer kicked in for Apollo. Apollo receives down with the first bucket of the night. Hill with the ball. Got a first assist here. Pretty good on the run. Looking for another one. Davis on Ingles. Connaughton for three. First pointer can't make it. Tries again. No look at the range as Monk has his second rebound. With only 20 seconds to go in the third quarter. Need to find something big here for tonight. They have to. They gotta find it bigger. They need to get it stronger. Akpala over to Mitchell. Mitchell with a slide and the foul is on Hill. Hold the ball quickly. And that will be the second team foul on Milwaukee. Mitchell's on the line for free throw shooting two. Another Sacramento to give that one a chance. They're really shooting it really hard. The most play of this ridiculous moment was just not just enough. But they really can't be like identifying how they could definitely do that. Mitchell hits the first. And now the new changeoff for Milwaukee. Green Middleton to Bleed Champ. Second free throw will be enough. Lopez finding Hill. Just three seconds with a shooting lead. No, they can't. And that ends the third quarter. It's a tie game between the Kings and the Bucks. The next one will be the winner in the fourth quarter. Look out now because it's about to go down. Bleed purple and fear the deer of the king of Giannis. See you then until the break. We have a quick moment to reveal your State Farm Assist of the Game. Let's have a look for one quick second out there. Here's some of one of the plays that I've never seen like this one before. And because of this one, that Savantis Sabonis was able to click it all, he really got to a perfect start of the key. This matchup really has to turn things out here for Barnes and for Deion Fox. They got a good heavy one to keep it going. We played three quarters, but it's been a tremendous one here since we got a great action in the third quarter. But now, let's find out what happens in the fourth quarter. Starting off, we have this opponent. Looks it over to Davis. Davis over to Murray for three. Ooh, that went in and out. Didn't have the right timing to get over it. That's tough now because they don't want to mess this thing up. Hill on Fox. Looks over to Allen. Allen over to Ingles. Back to Lopez. Milwaukee moving the ball quickly. Hill on Fox. Five to shoot. Ingles for three. And a first releasement for three quarter. Can't make the free connection feet outside of range. Joel Ingles missing the three pointers. They might need to keep it up with just only two. That might be the key, but I don't know what will it be. Davis. 
pivot around him and makes that shot. That is Terrence Davis with De'Aaron Fox's assist. They got a good one. Tremendous one. I like that drive. A mobile one drive back to Sacramento Kings. Hill on Fox. Let's move back over to Ingles. Ingles looking over the floor. Gives it off to Lopez. And a tight deal. It's a bonus. No foul. He's perfect on the throw. Good run. Good run on that one. He can keep it still. Murray back over to Davis. Up and overhead to Fox. Five on the shot clock. They need to get a shot quickly. Look over for three for Davis. Good! Outside of range. And Davis makes, a, makes the shot clock violation before it turns it over. And the timeout has been called by Milwaukee. Only four or six to go. What a play move. A second three-pointer. Have to hurt him. Man, it <laughs> looks like a Davis is starting to make that one interesting. Most plays are one and only cut. They got a handle. New substitution for the Kings as they are now bringing a number of players to keep an eye on. Also with the Bucks as well. Three players are checked out. Three players checked in on the Cooper, Milton, and Holly back to the starting five. Also new changes here for the Kings. Two players checked out. Two players checked in. Barnes and Herta. Here's Allen. Oh, it's loose! Oh, and it's the bonus. It's the recovery back after Herter with the steal. That's two steals in a row. Herter. Oh, boy! Herter with a slam. This goes for an extension run. I love Herter. Keep it flying. Milwaukee trail by seven. Middleton on Barnes. Flings back to Lopez. Allen going for three. Gets it back. They're cutting it down by, by seven to four. And this time, they're down by four. Tabonez looking over. Tough angle, but no foul call on the Milwaukee. They got to show something up. They got to find something fast. Kevin Herter is receiving his foul and the free throw coming up for Allen for another Milwaukee free throw ability. That pass was lifting up its height. I just had to tell you that one there. This was moving in like they've never done it. They have to find somebody else out there. They cannot be stopped at all. Because if they don't find the advantage out there, then you might have a bigger problem. Could be another one to try to lift it up. Allen is the first. Grayson Allen has definitely played with a great season with the part of the Grizzlies, but now he's definitely playing with the Milwaukee Bucks. He decides to keep it here. But well, he's not sure what will happen to the other players if they make the change up. I gotta say, it looks like most contracts here for the players really wants to keep it. I guess he likes it too. Only one out of two free throws for Allen, and they're up by, and they're still up by step three for the Kings. Kings are still in a good run on this score, looking for an hour play. Further shot game, back to Murray. Shot clock to six. Bounce pass back to Murray. Looking over, Allen takes a steal. Another turnover by Sacramento. Looks to Allen and Kupo. Play up in! Allen with the assist. They're down by one. Oh, the boy, they're going back to back. Heavy starter. Trying to lift it out. Barnes back over to Murray. Barnes back to Fox. With the drive. Excellent. D here on Holiday. Now it's back to Ana Kupo. Ana Kupo over. Middleton for the lead. Gives it back up here as the bonus kicks off seven rebounds. He's putting up a great show for tonight. Looking for eight. I sure think so. Let's find out. Only two minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. It is a 40 39 game. Fox over, looking for a rebound, and not this time, Fox delivering it strong. The second bucket, 
for the Iron Fox. Now you have to say they are going to be on a good plate we run. silent to the fans. He says, no word on that one. No mercy is my rule. Barnes back over to Murray. Murray back over to Barnes. Fox back outside. Shot clock to six. With the screen of Murray over on a Kubo. Good. That's Murray with a level bucket. And Fox with the assist. The fans are making it go wild out there because Murray has seven, and Fox made a good showing help they need. They do. Always need to know that one. The mine isn't simple. Middleton makes a three to tie the game, and on the Cooper with the assist. Oh, better if he's stable out there. They gotta stick it together. Can't let that go in. Hard back to Fox. Trying to make a good motion out there. Fox back to Barnes. Back to Fox. Shot clock to five. To shoot a fake. No, it could not make it. Allen looking for a chance to lead. Middleton with a lead. Yes! He delivers a two. And Allen with the assist. They got to still make that good transition to make go back in it. I have to say, they got to go like they did. Here's Murray with a tie. Good day on Anacupo. Anacupo over. And Holiday got it. Timeout called out by the Sacramento Kings with only 23.7 seconds. They're losing their focus strength. Those teams are keeping in trouble and sight. They're just out of no focus, out there in ability. In this game, it doesn't really happen. The next game will be on hold because the All-Star game is happening here. So make sure you keep tuning in here. Also watch here on NBA All-Star on TNT. That will be the next one to give this thing a good love and credit fund to find out the players who they are. If you've already voted, then we like to say congratulations, you made the selection of your looking of the All-Star players vote. So we'll see how well they play in between by that Eastern Conference and Western Conference, probably Team LeBron, and probably Team Durant. Again, hopefully, <laughs> I'm not sure if it's going to be like that, but uh, let's see what it is. And no other situation. And with this point, it's now time to reveal your New Balance Player of the Game. And the game player goes out to one of the bestest, Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday really seems like he was able to pick up his advancement. And with that play of this moment, he keeps it living from his head. I'm sure now he will definitely do it. Herder up. No good. And a foul will be lifted up by Herder. They try to stop the run. An advantage was being lifted out to give over again. I just don't know why. They really can't believe it. And now the foul is going over by Fox. It's a one on two free throws for Milwaukee. They really need to try to step things up a bit. They've only had one once. First free throw for Holiday is off. Second free throw is good. They use their final timeout for the Sacramento Kings to try to keep it free and try to find the advantage to keep it over with. I'm sure they're gonna definitely gonna need that one. Timeouts for Sacramento Kings, now they gotta finish it. Outside, free for Herter. Wow, he made it that time. What a play. I have to tell you that he just got a good look at there. Might need to get this damn rocky run. 
The foul, speak up like Kevin Herter, our number 101 shot coming up for the Milwaukee. As Grayson Allen is at the free throw line for one out of two free throws. One on two. Looking for the lead, he gives up one. The next one could be it. Makes it two, and that just happened again. They really need to step it up now. They gotta get over it. Here's the Fox looking over, and a free for her. No good! And that ends the game! A disappointing run for the Kings. The Bucks beat their score 51 to 47. A toughest inbound as the Bucks never quit here. They really got a good one. They're streaking one of the games. They're really up to a track. And to close things off, let's go down to Ali LaForce for the your player of the game of the Bucks. Alright, Ali. All right, thanks. Brooke, the offense came in waves tonight. How'd you guys manage to win this one? It was a complete team effort. You know, we've been playing pretty good energy, pretty good defense all game. Shots just weren't going down for us. We knew that. So we knew we had to keep climbing, keep climbing. The key was you stay persistent. Thanks, Brooke. All right, Allie LaForce, thank you very much. Well, with my broadcast partner here with Light Brain, I'm Son of Beast, and this has been your presentation of the NBA 2K Sports. We'll see you later for the next game of the All-Star, and we will see how well they do. Well, that's it for the game. So long, everyone. Let's go down the fan to close it off. Son of Beast, thank you very much. As this part of the game was turning out to be just one on the heavy traffic out there, the Bucks finally have their answers here in the fourth quarter. Check it out. Because they've got a lot of free pointers in between, they only have 23% a year in the free pointers. Only 20% here for the Sacramento Kings. It was off to a target run. Their shooting percentages is not quite the same thing just like they did. Free throw percentage turned out to be just okay, okay for the Sacramento Kings, 75%. And the field goals in this range was a lot of heavy hitters. Only 47% for their team. And with the fast break points was 11 and points in paint wasn't even on the run. Second chance points was only the Bucks, and bench points was only Sacramento Kings. 17 assists, that was crazy. To make that one a good look, almost 20. Five was very tough, and 25 out of here over the rebounds by 24 was really the tough one to get over it. Three steals for the Bucks, and four blocks again. And two turnovers was just the last one that they get. Both teams have fouls, but no one has ever changed. Five dunks here performed for the Bucks. They're really off to a great start. Anyway, that should do here for this one. Let's check out your three star players of the game. Starting off, number three, we have the only man again, Kevin Herter. He only made 13 points, three rebounds, and a steal. Only performed one dunk here. Just really got a great look of it. He only made two free pointers here at this game. Just really well. Can't believe how well he's going to do. Now, let's go back to number two. Number two for the Bucks we have is Chris Middleton. That's his 13 points, three rebounds, and only made a good three-point opportunity range. You only give that one a, a good field goal percentage here. Free throws were never given because other players did make the free throw ability. That's why they definitely have it all. And that was really to turn out what Chris Middleton did. And now for number one, the player of all release, the Greek freak, Giannis Anacumbo. He only gives up here 14 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, and incredible 3 blocks in this game. My gosh, he's really like a heavy one that he does. Only played for just 5 dunks, really on a heavy start. 1, and then 2, across again with 3. So that really has turned out. What an excellent guy he is. And the New Balance player of the game was Drew Holiday. Well, in that case, that is it for the 10th game. I hope you enjoyed your watching this part of the NBA 2K Sports of the Bucks and Kings. 
Now we will head you over here back to this game. We'll take a break from here once we will get the All-Star coming up. It's going to be the next one to give this thing a look over in between by the heavy hits. If you like what we what we like here so far, be sure to subscribe to his channel and make sure to follow him on his social media. Don't forget to follow him on Instagram and TikTok. Links are in the description in below. And with that point, thanks for all for tuning in. I'm out of here. Fanny's gone. Peace out, guys. And for a while, as the NBA 2K23 dial, this is Fan. And thank you all for tuning in. See you all next time. Bye, guys. Have a great night. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.